Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and on this channel we talk about all the houseplant things. I'm really excited for this video because I'm doing a little bit of a planty things haul. I normally would only do a plant haul, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the other plant related items that I've been getting lately, either a plant accessory or a plant product. I think that these things are just as fun as getting new plants, so I wanted to show you all the fun stuff. Some of it I will be able to link, some of it I won't, so I will let you know if it will be linked down below or not. Okay, well first we're gonna start with the plant. I know that we're talking about planty things, but I have to show you this plant. So this is a Burley Marks Fantasy. Are we focused? So this is a Burley Marks Fantasy that Not Dude Adam actually was propagating for me for a long time. He actually air layered the plant and then he uh, and then he cut it off and gave it to me and I'm so excited to have this plant. It is so beautiful. It recently put out this leaf right here after the last couple of leaves got a little bit stuck. So hopefully now with it being in my greenhouse, it won't have any issues because that is like extremely high humidity in there. Actually, let me see what the humidity level is at right now. 83% humidity. That is intense. <laughs> Adam, if you're watching, thank you so much for this beautiful new baby. This is probably the most recent plant that I've gotten and I picked this up from him a couple of weeks ago when I went and visited. Okay, so the next planty product I'm going to be showing you is this one and it is an all natural systemic pest control. This specific concentrate is really special because it is organic. So I bought this from Arbico Organics and it is an SNS 209 all natural pest control system. I'll put it up here so if you want to like read that you can learn more about it but because this is a concentrate it makes a lot so I think that this was $16 for this whole bottle but it will make up to 64 gallons of pest control stuff. So with something like this all you have to do is make the concentrate and then water your plant with it just like you would with a liquid fertilizer and what it does is whenever a pest bites into the plant it will die kind of similar to like tea uh flick kind of similar to how flea and tick medication works on animals this seems to be very similar so obviously it is sealed i have not opened it yet because i just got it a few days ago but i really wanted to show it to you guys i will definitely keep you updated on what i think about it i actually heard about this because one of my longtime friends on instagram said that it really works for them so i was really really keen to try it let's read a little bit about this so that we can i don't know learn more so it says this unique formula works by allowing the plant to uptake a small amount of rosemary as the plant distributes the rosemary throughout its cell walls a barrier is soon constructed when an insect starts to feed on the plant it comes into contact with the rosemary and causes the pest to stop eating move on or die okay seems simple enough so like i said when i have some results or i'm starting to try it out i will definitely keep you updated now we are on to plant accessories so we know that i live in tucson which is known for saguaro cactus so i showed these on instagram i think and i want to show you here too because they're so beautiful Beautiful. So these are blown. Hold on. How can I show this to you? So these are blown glass saguaro cactus earrings And these were actually one of my anniversary presents from Daniel my husband We recently celebrated one year, which is very exciting But he knows that I love the desert and I love saguaros. So he got me some earrings Unfortunately these well not unfortunately for me, but he got them from a local company that doesn't have an online store So really glad that he bought local, but I won't be able to link it down below for you I will try to see if I can find a similar product on Etsy or something like that So that you can also buy from a small company if you want But I just think that these earrings are so cute and beautiful. They're very dainty They're probably about like an inch to an inch and a half long and they just look so cute on like I really love subtle earrings just as much as I love like really loud earrings and I have a lot of loud earrings you can see my earrings back here are all very loud so it's kind of nice to have another pair of quiet earrings and then lastly for earrings I have this set of earrings which genuinely are so cool 
because they have a pressed Hoya bloom on the inside. And these are made by my friend Cassandra. I talked about her. She was my house sitter when I was on my trip and she did such an amazing job with my plants, but also she creates really, really beautiful earrings and jewelry with resin and pressed flowers and plants in general. So let me show you what these look like up close. You can see that really precious Hoya bloom in there encased in this resin. They're a really, really wonderful size and I just find these also like very dainty and like subtle. You know what I mean? Like I was saying with the subtle earring thing, I don't have many so I kind of am really liking this idea of just like a really simple design. And immediately when I saw that she had pressed Hoya flowers, I was so in. But she does a lot of other flowers like chamomile or like desert wildflowers which are very, very beautiful so definitely if you are interested in checking these out i will have her shop link down below she does restocks pretty consistently and they just keep getting better and better <laughs> okay i have another thing that i can't link for you but i will try to find something similar this is a very very cute little cactus dish this is a barrel cactus and it could either be like a ring or a soap dish or a spoon rest in the kitchen i'm currently using it as a ring dish in the bathroom and sometimes it also ends up being a saucer if i'm being honest <laughs> but this is something that daniel got for me as well he just the theme was cactus this year it was amazing i was very excited about it but i love this so much i'll show you the back i mean this is not going to tell you really anything he did purchase this in sedona from one of the shops along like the main shopping strip uh, I don't remember the actual name of the shop but it's really cute and I thought that I would show you I just love little cactus accessories like this like non tacky cactus accessories you know what I mean like this is like cool it's like sophisticated I don't know I really like stuff like this speaking of cool I really want to show you guys these new hats that I got so I got these hats from not dude you can see his logo right here this beautiful hat it's like a wonderful mustard green uh, mustard green <laughs> mustard yellow <laughs> and on the side it says plant nerd so i'm just really excited to be in the plant nerd club finally and you can see the back has this like really cool gold buckle thing and i wear hats like when i go on hikes and stuff like that um i don't know how it's gonna go with my bangs it <laughs> okay okay here we go be serious becca there we go my bangs are too long for this right now but i do really enjoy wearing a hat with like a, a a ponytail in my hair when i am hiking or something like that it's so fun and if i ever want to do a not dude impression i just throw it on backwards does this look familiar to anyone <laughs> Yeah, this is my cat Patches. I love her so much. This is like too good. I feel like, yeah. That's really good. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute with the, wait, where is it? It's on this side. It's really cute with the embroidery here. It's just so well made. I just love it so much. And I also have a green one. I can't tell which one I like more, honestly. They're so well made. Like, I just feel so cool. But the, the style of this hat is called the dad hat. And uh, I love it. I'm not a father. <laughs> but I just really like it. Um, anyway, you can also see on this side, there is some wonderful embroidery on this side and we also have the gold buckle. With that being said, if you are interested in also becoming a plant nerd with me, you can check out both of these hats. I'm pretty sure he still has them in stock and he has a few other different kinds of hats. Got some hat hair. Okay. <laughs> Okay, truth be told, it's been a few hours and I'm popping this clip in because I forgot to show you these beautiful pots by Terra Vida. I was making dinner and then I looked over and saw them and I was like, how could I possibly forget about these? So these pots, it's from Terra Vida. Like I said, they are an Etsy shop and I found them because one of my friends on Instagram, leafygreens underscore, shared about them and their amazing prices. I was so amazed by this company because their pottery is very, very beautiful as it is affordable. So so sometimes finding like specialty pottery can be expensive for good reason, but these ones are simple enough to where their price point is super low. So this one was $18. Let me show you a bit of a close up here. You can just see this beautiful shape and it has a half glazed, half unglazed look. And then on the inside, you can see those drainage holes because it has a drainage tray attached, which I personally really like the drainage tray attached thing. I think that's really awesome. We also have this pot, which is a little bit shorter and stouter, and you can see a similar 
theme going on. All of them have like a half glazed, half unglazed thing. They all have drainage holes on the inside and a very cute drainage tray. And you can see there's a little bit of a texture on this pot as well. And then the last one I got, it has a little bit of a lighter color clay, but it is still very beautiful. You can see it has the half glazed look. And this one has a little bit more of a prominent texture on it. And I just love these pieces so much also has the drainage holes and the drainage tray and the drainage holes are a little bit small but honestly if you use a chunky enough mixture it shouldn't be an issue at all with it clogging up i have other pots with drainage like this and i never have any issues with it so i feel pretty confident with it but anyway terra vita love them so much i will link their etsy shop down below so you can check them out on their next restock when i went and checked on their etsy they had a lot in stock actually which is not super common with pottery shops so that was really exciting too so go ahead and check them out in the description box below the last thing that i want to show you is something that i'm actually going to have leo model for us so let's bring him in here leo come here baby <laughs> he heard me say his name come here we are going to put you up on the hot seat what do you say Okay, so the next product that I wanna show you are these really beautiful dog bandanas. They're made by my friend Faith. We met on Instagram and she is seriously the best, such a cool person and she runs an awesome business. These are so well made. Like as someone who sews, I'm telling you, these are extremely well made. Believe me, she puts a lot of heart into these. So anyway, these are little dog bandanas. So if you are looking for some plant accessories for your dogs, this is a really fun one. So what I do is I fold it. You can see that I folded it before because he wears these all the time. And then I put it on him just like this. Oh my goodness, Leo, you're so cutie. And then I snap it. You can see that they have little snaps right here. They're really easy and they're not very tight on his neck either. So he's still doing well with the breathing and all of that. Of course, we would not want his breathing to be constricted. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what they look like. This is the first one. Turn to the side. This is the first one. It is a Monstera print and it looks so cute on him. Leo, look, come here, look. Oh my goodness, you're so cutie. You're a perfect model. <laughs> Why do you look so sad? I think I woke him up from a nap on accident. Here is the second design. Oh, it's so cute on him. He's such a great model. There we go. You can see really, really cute design. This one, it has like a really soft linen feel. We all know I love linen. If you follow my second channel, I talk about linen all the time. Look at how cute. <laughs> Show him, Leo love it i love this print that's so pretty it's such a beautiful rainbow print like neutral rainbows i love it for some reason my microphone was turned off during this clip but i just wanted to really quickly show you the label fox moth they are on instagram as fox moth and she makes a lot of really awesome planty printed dog bandanas so go ahead and check that out if you're interested all right you guys that's going to be all for today's little plant stuff haul i hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the plant accessories and items that i've been picking up lately i really enjoy looking around for these kinds of things and i'm definitely going to be showcasing more plant businesses in the future because i think it's really important to shop local shop small and shop in your community so thank you so much for watching say bye leo bye <laughs> you're so cute Ha, <laughs> ha,